Sometimes you get so busy that you forget to take care of yourself. Or maybe you don't forget, but you just can't quite find the time to do so. If you're honest with yourself, this means that you haven't made self care a priority. If you want to treat yourself better, remember that self care is a practice. By that, I mean it's not something you get right just once. You have to keep at it and make it a routine part of your life so that self care becomes a lifestyle. If you've been feeling tired and overworked lately, here are some self care tips to help you feel refreshed and amazing. Thanks so much to Pantene for sponsoring this video. Here we go. The first thing to do when you're feeling dull or tired is to hydrate. Drink lots of water to feel refreshed and give your body what it needs. You'll have more energy, better skin, and health if you just drink more water. It's the most basic but most important tip of them all. Especially in the summertime when it's hot and you're out more, you're probably getting dehydrated quicker. So always remember to have water by your side and drink it throughout the day. When I'm not feeling my best, whether I'm feeling down or stressed out, I know that moving and stretching my body will help me center myself and get back into the rhythm of things. Doing yoga or even light stretching at home will encourage better circulation in your body and revitalize your energy. You get both physical and mental benefits from this too, like releasing tension, sleeping better, and feeling inner peace. It might be difficult or uncomfortable getting started, but trust me, you'll feel so amazing afterward. I'm not always consistent with my yoga practice, but I notice that when I am consistent, my mental health is amazing. By the way, my favorite yoga pose is pigeon. I love that stretch. It's basically like challenging enough but feels so satisfying. Let me know if you have a favorite yoga pose down below in the comments. A simple but always effective way to refresh and feel better is to give yourself a nice shower or bath. I don't wash my hair every day. I usually wait three or more days between washes, so it does get pretty oily and dry shampoo, all that stuff does build up. So when I do wash my hair, it feels amazing. <laughs> I've been using the new Pantene Charcoal Collection Shampoo and Conditioner. The activated charcoal in the shampoo works by attracting impurities like a magnet. It detoxes your hair and scalp while still being gentle. So regular shampoos remove surface dirt, but activated charcoal will pull out even more. The best part is that activated charcoal isn't gonna leave the residue that some shampoos do, so your hair will feel lighter and have more volume. Activated charcoal may also relieve dandruff, redness, oily and itchy scalp, so if you have any of these issues, it is worth a try. The Pantene charcoal system includes a blend of provitamin B5, activated charcoal, and antioxidants. Both the shampoo and conditioner are completely free of silicone, parabens, and dyes, which I love. Right now, there's a special going on at Target. Buy two Pantene Charcoal Collection products and receive a $5 gift card. You can learn more at the link down below. After using the Pantene charcoal system, my hair feels so refreshed and clean and I'm feeling brand new. I don't know about you, but having great hair gives me such a boost in confidence. Like when my hair is light, bouncy, and my bangs are just right, I'm feeling good. But usually that lasts for like a day and then after I sleep or clip my bangs up, they just never look the same. That's my personal struggle, guys. Keeping my bangs looking great. <laughs> Another way to feel amazing is to dress confidently. So I'm guilty of being lazy with how I dress sometimes, but I realize that what you wear and how you present yourself really affects how you feel. So try wearing something that you feel confident and beautiful in. It's not vain, it's self-care, okay? Wear what makes you feel good because you deserve to feel good. For example, I thought this yellow top was so cute, but I haven't worn it out yet because it's a little bold and I told myself I'd save it for the right occasion. I know other people do that too. Save an item they really like for a special occasion and then end up never really wearing it or wearing it maybe once or twice. Well, think of it this way. Every day is a special occasion. So you can show up for your day looking and feeling your best. You don't have to wait. Today can be that day. So dress confidently with makeup or without makeup. It really doesn't matter as long as it's what you feel best in. Personally, I love wearing colorful eyeshadows lately. I just love a good pop of color. It's my way to have fun and be playful with how I express myself. But if you feel great without anything, like you do you. 
You can also take time to unplug and connect with nature or the outside world. There's something peaceful and nurturing about spending time outside. You get to break out of your usual comfort zone and you can see the world from a new perspective. Perhaps you'll realize how small and insignificant your worries are or how there's a world outside of your own. I truly believe nature has the power to heal. With the afternoon sunlight, the sounds of the trees rustling in the wind, there is this indescribable feeling of calm and connectedness I get when stepping into nature. Even spending 10 minutes at the park will leave you feeling refreshed and relaxed. Remember that what you put into your body also contributes to how you feel. So nourish your body by eating whole plant-based foods like fruits and vegetables because those foods will make you feel light and energized. It's better for your health and you will glow from the inside out. On the other hand, eating processed foods like junk food will make you feel heavy and slow. You might want to emotionally eat when you're not feeling great, but remember that that immediate satisfaction is just short term and you'll only feel worse afterward. Another quick way to feel better is to listen to good music. Music has the power to shape how you feel, and you can actually design your mood by putting on the right music. So choose your favorite uplifting song to jam to, or a beautiful relaxing song to put you at ease. Whatever feeling you want, find a song or make a playlist to match. You can also journal or meditate to clear your mind and give yourself an internal refresh. Release your thoughts and worries onto paper and find mindfulness in the moment. I've been journaling at night more often and last night I had like a mini breakthrough while journaling. I realized that I don't have to stress over the things that I stress over now. I've basically created these boundaries for myself when in reality they're all self-imposed illusions that in the bigger picture don't really matter at all. And I realized that no matter what happens, I'll still be okay. Like I'll be alive and I'll figure things out. So yeah, anyway, I'll share more about that in a future video, but journaling has been so therapeutic for me. Another major way to feel refreshed is to reset your space. Take time to tidy, organize, declutter, light a candle, do what you need to do to make your home feel peaceful and comfortable. How your space looks affects how you feel. So having a cluttered space will make you feel busy or anxious, and having a clear space will make you feel like you have a clear and peaceful mind. By the way, I recently made another video on my reset day routine. So everything I do when I carve out a Sunday to reset my life. So if you're interested in that, click on the card or look down below for the link. Lastly, carve out time daily or at least weekly to relax in your own way. Everybody's different, so the way that you like to relax is different from the way that I like to relax. Just ask yourself, what is my favorite way to unwind and pamper myself? For me, it's putting on a face mask and reading a book. For you, it might be watching your favorite show, calling a friend, playing with your pet. It can really be anything. Just take the time to enjoy your life as it is right now. Stop worrying or stressing about anything outside of this present moment in front of you, if you can really relax and sink into the present moment, then you'll realize that all the worries, anything else will just wash away. So those are my tips for feeling refreshed and amazing. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I hope you have an amazing day with these tips or with your own self-care tips. Just remember that self-care is a practice. It's something that we have to keep working on. By the way, thank you guys so much for being so supportive and loving as a community. I'm just so grateful to have you guys here. I know this week I had to focus on my own self-care as well and whenever I need to do that i'm just so blessed that you guys understand and we can all learn to take better care of ourselves together so have a great day bye mm -hmm.